Dr. Richard Brown is an associate professor of clinical psychiatry at Columbia University and an author who's done extensive research in breathing. He also teaches proper breathing techniques as a tool to maintain good physical and mental health. Well, everybody breathes. And one of the problems is everybody thinks because they've been breathing all their life, they know how to do it. But people do breathing without being conscious of what they're doing. Dr. Brown's research is well-founded, to say the least. Breathing techniques were discovered in ancient Chinese text 3,000 years ago. But why is proper breathing important? It turns out how you breathe affects your brain and everything in your body. Breathing is connected to our autonomic central nervous system, which works through two pathways, the sympathetic and parasympathetic, regulating the vital functions of the body. When a person gets frightened or stressed, the sympathetic branch, or the flight and fight part, goes into action. It speeds up the heart rate and breathing and inhibits other parts of the body to get it ready to confront or run away from a situation. This is counterbalanced by the parasympathetic branch, which calms and recharges the body. So the stress response system for most people is way overactive, and the soothing, recharging, bonding system is way underactive. Because people are always stressed. They don't realize how stressed they are. They're breathing about 15 to 20 breaths per minute. And you don't see much heart rate variability. Many years of stress can cause serious emotional and physical disorders, such as depression, heart disease, even inflammatory bowel disease. This is where breathing comes in. Taking control of one's own breathing, even for five minutes, is the easiest, fastest, and best way to put these two systems in balance. Slowing down one's breathing activates the parasympathetic system, bringing healing throughout the body. It improves the mind and body, a sure sign that a person's heart rate variability increases. What's the best breathing technique? According to Dr. Brown, it is coherent breathing. That's five breaths per minute, in and out through the nose. It's breathing in for six seconds, breathing out for six seconds and it's relaxed. Dr. Brown teaches this breathing through guided meditation and chimes, which makes it easy to learn. While I thought I was doing something correctly since I came into this world, let's just say I was a willing participant in writing an apparent wrong. Breath in, the belly expands, and breath out gently, the belly gently relaxes. No rush. It helps to hear you're guiding me through it, because I will say that sometimes when it's going up <laughs> yeah, the chime, yeah. I'm actually breathing out. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. But, it's, but it does. It's... That's normal. Dr. Brown and his wife, Dr. Patricia Gerbarg, so, have put all of the types of proven breathing techniques in an award-winning book called The Healing Power of the Breath, which has been translated into many languages. They've also dedicated themselves to providing this training to people recovering from mass disasters, like the 9-11 community, victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake, and survivors of the civil war in South Sudan. It brings about a rapid change. One thing we found with thousands of people is it's important to teach them how to turn on this healing part of their system, and it starts a healing process that continues, even if they don't do it again a step towards a healthy mind and body that's literally within us. You gotta put stuff together so you can kind of do what you need to do in about 15 or 20 minutes. To learn how to do coherent breathing and other breathing techniques demonstrated by Dr. Brown, you can go to the Science & You website at cuny.tv. And remember, the next time you feel stressed, breathe, doctor's orders. You're watching CUNY TV, the City University of New York.